Season 1, Episode 10. Is it King? He's holding King play. Yep. Oh, I loved climbing up the slide as a kid. Nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, the snot bubble, really? Ooh, you just got kicked off your throne. <laughs> that buddy blows his nose, man. Dude, blow your nose, man. He's like a little tea kettle. He really is. That's his interlock, so he only fits under my staff. Oh, cool. What? What? Oh, it's the curse. King, we have to go. Five more minutes, please. King. Ah, oh, man. This isn't over. Okay, let's play again real soon. No, no. Keep those sticky hands away. Come on, no. He's touching me. <laughs> Escape of the palace, man. <laughs> no one wants to see that. I do. <laughs> Look, I know how to take care of myself. I've had this curse longer than you've been alive. So how'd you get it? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Somebody she doesn't know. Me. I don't know who, and I don't care because I'm fine. Right? Yeah, this is like a mystery we stopped to uncover. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> I, I respect the enthusiasm she has for the sport. Hexies? Hexies is pretty good. Nice. It is a little weird that you wear the same outfit in every single episode. <laughs> like you'd think she would have a change of clothes by this. So I, I, you know, it's something I, I'm picking up on. Like she doesn't change her outfit ever. <laughs> like then again, I guess Steven never did in Steven Universe. But then again, it's because all of his outfits were just the merch that his dad never sold. And I guess Finn wore the same outfit and never. Okay, you know what? It's that's fair actually. I'm I'm being too harsh. <laughs> oh, that's a whole chest. That's cool. Is that a beer hat? Yeah, that sounds painful. Did they miss their? You couldn't have said anything like <laughs> Come on man. Walk to Glandis? We never make it in time. Glandis is all the way out in the middle of the island. Uh, typical Glandis. Me and my parents are working, otherwise I'd see if they could give us a ride on their staff. Our staff. We got a staff. Don't ride. steal either staff. I don't I see this is why I don't trust Ida. She <laughs> When she says she has something under control, she usually never, actually, never, actually ever does. <laughs> like, ever. I shouldn't even say usually. Like, she literally never has anything under control. 
Yep. See? See, she just tried to thug it out and look at the. See, you should have just let Luce get you the elixir. Oh. She's like adapting to her curse almost. Or you could get her her elixir right now. You're going to help me regain my throne. Is Ida up? Who? Oh, <laughs> who? Ida. Never heard of her. No, no, she is out like a light. Oh man, can she snore? Well, no. I wanted to ask if I could borrow her staff, but I know she needs her rest. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna question the noises. I'm sure Ida wouldn't mind. Not our she would. Big heart on her. We're just on our way to help some friends. Yeah, you. Who's ready to board? Do you think Albert will listen to her? <laughs> she doesn't know how to use that thing though. Actually, he's listening. It might have been a little fast. <laughs> well, did you just knock Albert out? Oh, you messed up. <laughs> sure, man. You have to be careful. It's really easy to get lost in this part of the forest. This is Ida's palace, Man Willow. She'll kill yeah. you if we don't get it back. Yeah, like, well, she'd she already kill you for injuring Albert in the first place, let alone him flying off because he's scared of you. Oh. Maybe he's in here to heal himself? I don't know. Okay. This isn't any kind of forest I'm used to. You're in a cave, actually. Oh, it's those things. Hey, I remember you. You're Bat Queen's baby. Yep. Wait, the Bat Queen? Oh, hey, look, we watched your kids, man. Okay, you don't have to hurt us. <laughs> Hello, small human. Oh, you talk. Aww. Listen carefully. You all have two choices. Rubble or <laughs> good enough. <Whoa. laughs> Run. Despair. King's ego and power trip really needs to be studied. It is fascinating. How so much anger, rage, and Ego can come out of such a little creature. Your time has ended! Mine begins! Ah, not so tough now, you spongy hatchlings! Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I got this. Hiya, PQ! My, your hair is looking greasy, and your kids, they're as hideous as <laughs> you're, that You're not you know, helping. That could have gone worse. <laughs> so, Albert ran away, and I need to get him back. I'm just gonna grab him and we'll be on our way. To be careless with the staff. Please trust me. You definitely heard him. Trust must be earned. Through trials. Oh. Trials? Who's the back queen? Trials. 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 This could be cool. What would the trials be? For impossible trials. I've never heard of anyone winning against her, but I have to get Albert back. Nope. Now, oh, okay. Honestly, fair enough that it has to be loose alone. I mean, she's someone that's self-staff. Milk the sp ew. You know what? It's not difficult. It's just right, weird. It's just household chores. <laughs> Those are the trials. Ah! Come on. Almost got it. 
What are you gonna, she's just gonna web you up again. Yeah, what was the idea, man? Aw, how sparkly and clean. Ah, okay. Well. You really don't. I mean, maybe you did for a little bit, but she's losing it more and more and more and more. So good luck with that one, King. Oh! Yeah, bad idea. Yeah. If you can give it to her. Is that not enough? Uh oh. Oh no, they're gonna imprison her. Because you're not hunters anymore. <laughs> Animal control. Matches the description the parents called it. Neato. That was actually strangely effective. <clears throat> I mean, he did give her the elixir, so maybe it'll kick in eventually, but I don't think it was enough. You gotta stop trying to escape. It's not gonna work. I. It's so funny to me that the trials are just household chores. Like, you know what? I respect it. Honestly, might as well get someone to do it. What? Dang, even Albert was like, yeah, we cool now. And then she's just like, oh, come on, man. Do you think she's just going to time up again? Oh, great. Yeah, you... <laughs> Oh, Albert gonna come in clutch? Let's go, let's go. Nice. Oh, she has one too? Whoa. No wonder she's so, like, protective of Albert and stuff. She was one too. She used to be a staff. Look how large she's gotten now. That's crazy. Mm hmm. That's why she feels so deeply about it. That actually makes a lot of sense. Wipe your nose, man. It actually sickens me looking at that. Hey, good job. Trying to get his ego in check. <laughs> Tea kettle. So tiny, so angry. <laughs> oh, wow, it's actually helping you. That was super effective. Wow. Ida, you're back. What happened? Okay, so I went to your room, and you were the beast, and then. And then I woke up here. One second before you did. What? <laughs> A grand staff. Oh, okay. So she didn't just grow. She was always this big. She was just on a massive staff. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. Nice. Nice. 
Aww. See, we all know this is the best thing and that she actually does care for her, but I mean, from the Bat Queen's perspective, it could also be Albert going back to his abuser. <laughs> so, you know, there's a couple ways you can look at this. Is he always going to have that crack in his head now? Do you know what happened to your owner? Just been gone since I did this. But I've forgotten. If you ever want to search for the truth, I'll help you. No. Oh. Thank you. I'm assuming that'll be a storyline for another day. I can't believe you took on the Bat Queen. And we're not dead. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, they're probably so excited. Oh, he's going to lie. He's going to lie to her. Cool. Again? Dude, whatever. Dude, Albert came in clutch. Aw. He really came in clutch. I mean, she knew immediately, but I mean, she's had a long day, so honestly, I don't blame her for not caring. Honestly, anytime Luce does something bad that, like, directly would affect Ida, when Ida finds out, she's usually been through, like, hell and back <laughs> to the point where she's like, I don't even care anymore, man. Like, this has happened multiple times. It's kind of funny. We've never actually seen her, like, get mad at Luce fully. Yeah, her curse is getting worse. Or the bottle. Yeah, that too. It isn't working on the curse anymore. This is bad. Yeah. <coughs> when did I swallow a swing? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in your gut. Alright. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, like the elixir didn't work on her, but I just assumed it wasn't enough. But yeah, it seems like it's actually just legitimately not working. But King got her to come back just by having her hear something familiar, which, you know, laughed her back into her normal self. Now, it could have been a mix of that and the elixir at the same time, but yeah, the elixir is definitely not doing what it used to. So actually, I kind of take back what I said earlier, because earlier Ida said she could handle it, um, the whole thing. And then, you know, we walked into her room and she was on the bed and like a huge monster. But when King picked up her bag, there was a bunch of empty elixirs, which means she did try to drink a bunch of elixirs. They just didn't work for her at all. So, yeah. Not, not, not great. This will be a fun and interesting storyline to go down. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty solid episode. I liked it. I like getting a little bit more of Albert. You know, because originally I thought Hootie and Albert were like one in the same consciousness or whatever, but they're completely different people but yeah having an episode sort of kind of dedicated to albert was pretty cool um and showing how afraid he was of loose which makes sense she ran him into a tree um but then you know by the end it grew and he actually cared about her and went back to her so it was, it was very nice it was very cute and she does actually care about albert and she felt really bad for not showing that she does nita cares about albert too and Ida actually does take good care of albert so yeah and then the whole Ida thing with the, yeah, the monster was, you know, like King's power trip was, it didn't need to be studied, but hey, he overcame that and he's like, you know, forget it. And then he like admitted he was wrong and all that stuff. So honestly, kudos to him. Props to him, man. A little bit of character growth there. I don't know if it'll be consistent before I be back on his egotistical power trip in the next episode, but you know, it's, it's fine. It's funny. So I don't care. Um... Seeing the Bat Queen was cool again. She's weird and gross and I don't really like her that much, but you know. Her trials being household chores for Luce was really funny to me. But I also really like that it didn't just show that she was just like not liking Luce and that's it. Like it showed that she used to be on a staff as well. She used to be a Pattisman. And it showed why she cared so much about Albert and all these other ones that she has protected. Because it, like, hits on a deep level with her. 
and I really like that. It, it's cool. And then her like making amends with Luce and stuff, and be like, yeah, you know what? It's fine. And then Luce saying like, I'll help you find your owner if you want. And she's like, thanks. So I'm assuming we'll probably do that in a future episode, or never again. I don't really know. It could just be talk to be talk, but I'm assuming we'll explore it in an episode in the future. But yeah, very solid episode. Very entertaining. I was super, in, I I enjoyed it <laughs> a lot. So, yep. And the setup with Ida is going to be kind of interesting. I'm wondering how we're going to play that out. Who knows? But yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.